it's story time. Story, story, story time. Let's read a story time. Story, story, story time. I'm geek this story time. Story, story, story time. You and me, it's story time. Story, story, story time. Well, let's achieve. Hello, everyone. Welcome to story time with me, Kayla. How are you all doing on this beautiful Wednesday? I hope you're doing well. And of course, as always, please making sure to please still stay safe. <laughs> Now today, we have another special Arthur feature. Today, we will take a look at a book from returning Arthur, Miriam Guillaume. We had the honor of reading one of her very first books earlier this summer, and now we are back with one of her brand new titles. And so, without further ado, the book we'll be reading tonight is called Brrr, dun, 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 The Fairy Tale Adventures of Mirror Mirror Mouse coloring storybook written by Miriam Guillaume. You ready to see what this book is all about? Ready, set, let's begin. <laughs> the Fairy Tale Adventures of Mary Mouse coloring storybook written by Miriam Guillaume. Here we go. Look at that cool fairy on the cover with her beautiful wings and hair. I love to see it. <laughs> And here's a little bit more about our beautiful Arthur. All right, are you all ready to jump straight to it? Here we go, let's begin. Once upon a time in a faraway land called Brooklyn, a princess was born named Mary Mouse St. Dennis. Mary Mouse has two beautiful stepsisters named Deja and Natalie, who loves looking at themselves in the mirror all day long. <laughs> A little vain. <laughs> Mary Mouse and her family lives in a big magical castle underneath the Brooklyn Bridge. Across the bridge lives Prince Ricardo, who is always looking and admiring at Mary Mouse from afar. Ooh, if you lived in a castle, what color castle would you want? I would definitely want a pink castle from the roof all the way to the bottom, the basement. Pink everything, even a pink flag. <laughs> Mary Mouse sees Prince Ricardo looking at her, but continues to water her garden. While her beautiful sisters were hanging out of the window, laughing and giggling at her because they too see Prince Ricardo looking at Mary Mouse. Oh, a little sibling teasing. It happens to the best of us. <laughs> Prince Ricardo rode his horse across the bridge to greet Mary Mouse as he said, her Royal Highness, Princess of bed Brooklyn, and gave her a bouquet of flowers. Mary Mouse greeted and said, His Royal Highness, Prince of Flatbush, Brooklyn, thank you for the flowers. Oh, I think they like each other. Look how they smiling and cheesing. Aww. The next day, Prince Ricardo went to the magical castle to speak to the Her Majesty, Monica St. Denis. In his visit, he asked the Her Majesty for Mary Mouse's hand in marriage. <gasps> so the prince is going to get married to the princess, and they're going to be one big happy family. <sighs> oh my goodness. The St. Denis gave their blessings to Prince Ricardo, but on one account. You must swim across the Atlantic Ocean to Jersey City before midnight to pick up a goat and bring it back to the magical castle or else Mary Mouse will turn into a rat. A goat, said Prince Ricardo. Why? Why a goat? Her Majesty said, a goat symbolizes abundance, wealth, and good luck. Prince Ricardo thought heavily about Mary Mouse turning into a rat but was too afraid to swim across the Atlantic Ocean. Oh my goodness, the Atlantic Ocean is huge. It's even greater and bigger than Lake Michigan. And he has to swim across all that? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So instead, just before midnight, he got his dad's yacht and drove across. From the window of the magical castle, Her Majesty see Prince Ricardo in his dad's yacht and yells, The wedding is off! <gasps> oh, why do you think she calling it off? 
because she wanted him to swim. Oh my goodness. And he was, I would have done the same thing. Found me a boat to take <laughs> across the Atlantic. <laughs> Princess Mary Mouse cried and asked her majesty to please forgive him and please let us get married. Her majesty said no, not until he brings the goat. Mary Mouse was so terrified for Prince Ricardo. So in the meantime, to get her mind off from Prince Ricardo, she and her sisters went to the strawberry garden to catch butterflies and to add to her collection. Mm -hmm. I'm sure she was worried. All those, I'm not even sure. Are there sharks in the Atlantic Ocean? Mm. I don't even know. With all the fun she had with her sisters, her heart was still sad and missing Prince Ricardo. Then out of nowhere came her majesty and yells, the wedding is on. Prince Ricardo has brought the goat. Let's celebrate. So the next day, the St. Dennis and the Cortez family met in the courtyard at the magical castle to have a spectacular royal wedding for Mary Mouse and Prince Ricardo. Oh, they're combining their family. There, Mary Mouse was reunited with her knight in shining armor, Prince Ricardo, to live happily ever after. Aww. And look, the Arthur left some space for us to create our very own fairy tale story, which I absolutely love. Very interactive. And she even left us with some pages that we can color for ourselves and really enhance our very own stories. So if you create your very own fairy tale story, please tag myself in the Arthur because we will love to read it and we will love to share it with um, on our social media platforms. The end. Yes, K. Crew, wasn't that such a wonderful story? And I love that we got to use our imagination. Now, I hope you enjoyed reading this book as much as I did. To find your copy and to check out her other books, make sure to head on over to her website. And you can also find these books on Amazon. And of course, be sure to follow on social media. A big thank you to our Arthur for another fantastic story. I want to give a huge shout out to all her friends and family. Hey, everybody. And K-Crew, I want to thank you as well for joining me. But it's time to sing goodbye. You ready? Here we go. Goodbye, 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 my friends, get back to you. I hope to see you again real soon. Be proud of all your work tonight. Now climb into bed and sleep real tight. On the count of three, let's say goodnight. One, two, three, goodnight.